Hey everybody, I want to update you on the dry painting from video 536. Um, I absolutely love this. It was just three colors, Payne's gray, dioxazine, purple, and um, artist loft green yellow. So I am really happy with how it came out. I love it. And I want to give a big thank you for PayPal donations from Joanne and Marie and Suzanne. And so let's get painting. I'm going to try a new idea that is in my head that is going to be, I don't know. Well, we'll see if it works. It's going to involve a swipe with silicone on the paper that I'm swiping with instead of in the paint. Not sure how that will work out. Um, let me come on over here. And <clears throat> the colors I'm using are again artist left green yellow, Grumbacher process cyan, 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 whatever. This is um it was a yellow mixed with some orange, then mixed with a little red and a little gold. So it's got a little bit of everything. And this one I think is um, the neon pink with Artist Loft Magenta. Um, I added some iridescent medium, this stuff, and it can be really chunky. So, I'm hoping it wasn't all dissolved earlier, so I'm hoping it is. And I'm just swiping with a piece of Canon glossy photo paper. Um, I picked this instead of cardboard. Uh, yeah, because this, the silicone won't sink into it, I think. And just mixed up a new batch of white paint, um, my house paint with Floetrol and water. And let's see if I got the consistency right. Oh, it's actually a little bit thicker than usual, but that's all right. <clears throat> so I know this is a painting video, but raise your hand if you have anxiety and keep it raised if you woke up with anxiety today that is just not going away. Because I am. I have been down here in my studio, um, just kind of doing mundane, menial kind of things. Um, mixing paint and cleaning and organizing stuff and putting, you know, varnishing. Stuff that doesn't require a whole lot of brain power because usually those things calm me but today they are not and I am still just kind of got that feeling in the pit of my stomach and if you have anxiety you know what I'm talking about and as I said I know this is a painting video and a lot of you probably aren't even listening because I think a lot of you skip over this white part but, uh, so you won't even know what I'm talking about. But, yeah. And then part of it, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm a little bit shaky, and I tried, and I ate something, so I'm just waiting for it to kick in. So I'm pretty much a hot mess right now. So I thought, why not make a video and see if that helps? <laughs> Hopefully it will. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get a drink of water. All right, I'll start with the blue. I'm gonna take the lids off all of these. And that yellowy, orangey color is gonna be pretty thick. Um, Cause I added some iridescent medium to that too. And then the color was all the way to the top, so there wasn't room for more water. All righty. I'm going to pour it in at the side. So, yeah, I know a painting video is a weird 
place to talk about anxiety and whatnot, but, you know, why not? I have my own channel, so. <laughs> and that's what's on my mind right now, and that's what's bothering me right now, and it affects painting. So, there you go. All right, this was not exactly, this was not how, I had a different vision, but we'll see. Where is my silicone? Oh, it's on the floor, hang on. So it is a Saturday, which may be, I mean, I guess I don't have to go anywhere or do anything, but maybe it'd be better if I did. <laughs> so I am just rubbing, yuck, um, the spot on um, treadmill silicone onto this. The silicone, these bars, this painting tray, all that can be found on my Amazon link that is in the video description. Okay, so this is kind of what I had in mind. That middle part is pretty ugly, so I will change that. It's just very heavy, but there's too much paint, that's why. That's kind of cool, though. Huh, let's see. I think my main problem with this was that I just started with way, way, way too much paint. And I'm having trouble getting rid of it. side of this. If I swipe all the way off.
actually liking the white cells, so I'm going to and get a new piece of photo paper. It was weird using the palm of my hand, but the rest of my glove was dirty. Looking at this from a different angle. them back down towards this end. I love this part. I really like this part. This part, not so much. paper so that when I do this I don't end up getting paint everywhere. You can still see little cells trying to form. So that's the part that I really, really love the most. So that's what I am keeping. Um, 
I'm going to get my preferred cardboard, which I probably should have used in the beginning. Slightly tilting because I don't really want much of it to move except for the weight. getting out the straw because this is these are weird because that's where I cut off with the um, paper when I scraped it So I blew it outwards and now I'm blowing it back in. One last torch. I get all these air bubbles now. So it went from something very blah, out, you know, lots and lots of heavy color to very soft, and I like this so much better. Um, let's see what it looks like from different. Ooh, this side's a mess. Still not happy with this side. Oops. 
just going to torch that little part I did because I can see air bubbles that I made when I was poking all over it. And I'm not, I'm just going to make you dizzy. Reminds me of a mermaid. You would never know that pink was in here. <laughs> the color, not the singer. That would be awesome, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.